If you're just getting started on your photography journey, this video will break down the key camera basics every beginner needs to know. I'll share tips from my own experience transitioning from smartphone snapshots to deliberate creative photos. From gear and settings to composition and practice, let's dive into the essential foundations together. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. When I first caught the photo bug, I made the rookie move of dropping tons of cash on a fancy DSLR and lenses. And while that gear is awesome, no denying that, I didn't yet have the know-how to fully utilize it. These days, I recommend beginners start simple. Even your smartphone or a cheap point and shoot can take killer shots while you build skills. Save the expensive equipment for when you've outgrown basic cameras and know what specific features you want. Focus on creativity first. However, one cheap accessory I do recommend picking up early is a lightweight travel tripod. Having a stable base for long exposures and night photography opened so many creative doors for me. My shaky hands and blurry low light photos were instantly improved with this basic tool. Later down the road, upgrade to a heavier duty tripod for more demanding work. You simply never know when unique photo opportunities will unfold. So try to always have a camera on hand. Huge dramatic skies, curious wildlife, golden hour light. I've missed some amazing moments by leaving the house empty handed. Now I always stash a compact camera in my bag. Quick smartphone snaps work too for spontaneous inspiration. You can revisit scenes later with your main gear. When you can't carry a camera, keep notes on photos you'd like to capture later. I jot quick descriptions in my phone, captivating light fixtures, lush gardens, foggy dawn landscape. Revisiting places under desired conditions has led to some very satisfying shots. Specifics like time of day, weather, and season all make a difference. Don't overlook everyday objects and familiar spaces as photographic subjects. Beautiful images exist all around you if you know how to spot them. I solidified my skills by getting inventive with common household items and my own backyard. Play with lighting and angles to gain a unique perspective. Simple is often the most striking. The best part of photography as a hobby is that the learning never stops. New techniques, ideas, gear. There's always room to improve your images. Let inspiration from books, tutorials, and seasoned pros guide you through this lifelong journey. Stay humble and determined, and don't forget to have fun. Speaking of inspiration, the internet offers unlimited free knowledge if you know where to look. Forums, Creative Commons image libraries, and photography blogs offer both conceptual ideas and technical know-how. Software like GIMP provides tons of editing power on a budget. Surround yourself with resources made by and for fellow shutterbugs. Don't be intimidated by all those buttons and menu symbols. Start playing around to see what works. Try the same subject at multiple exposures, ISO values and f-stops. Check the metadata later to understand the settings for each test shot. Pushing boundaries gradually will develop both technical skills and personal style. Don't be afraid to fail on the road to success. The key settings that directly impact image outcomes are ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. Getting these fundamentals down is critical, so let's quickly unpack what they mean. First up is ISO, which controls how sensitive your camera's sensor is to light. Higher ISO values add software sensitivity to let you shoot in darker situations. But beware, as excessively high ISOs introduce ugly noise and grain. For bright scenes, use a lower ISO of 100, 400. Night owls can pump it to 800, 3200. Just watch out for speckles. Next is shutter speed, controlling how long the sensor is exposed during each shot. Slow shutter speeds enable long exposure tricks, while fast speeds freeze action. But a shaky hand can blur slow shots. 
while fast shots darken scenes. I suggest 1 60 the ASEC for static scenes, and 1 250 for motion as starting points. Finally, aperture size through f-stops dictates how much total light reaches the sensor by opening or closing the lens. Wider apertures at low f-numbers give dreamy blurred backgrounds. Narrow apertures provide crisp focus across images. Straddle tilde f slash 8 initially for good middle ground. Master just these three pillars first, ISO, shutter speed, aperture, adjusting between shots. Intuition around their give and take interplay builds through experience. Before long, you have photographic superpowers, I promise. While experimenting is great, you also need to build a foundation based on time-tested techniques. Study resources on proven tips like the rule of thirds, leading lines, framing, and depth. Knowing core guidelines helps inform when and how to break the rules later for dramatic shots. Upending conventions has more impact once they are second nature. And finally, like any skill, photography requires consistency to improve. Engage in both deliberative practice and casual everyday shooting between sessions. Week-long photo challenges are great for motivation and discovering niche subjects to explore. Don't lose momentum in the gaps between occasional shoots. Stay sharp, take risks, and have fun. Photography is just as much a creative exploration as a technical endeavor. With digital cameras, experimentation costs nothing but time. Play with odd angles, props, settings, anything goes. Chance encounters can lead to your next captivating series. Stay curious, bold, and enthused as you find your distinct vision. Well, those were our camera basics for beginners. We do hope this was helpful for all you beginners out there. And if it was, do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.